So we recently purchased a bunch of command strip wall hooks, and these are fine and they're reasonably affordable, but the problem is is that after one person bumped into them or pulled on them a little bit tough, they snapped off. So why are these so darn frail? Well, the reason is is that if you look underneath them, you can see that since they're molded, they're made with really, really thin walls, which is not really the ideal situation when you have a hook that people might be using all the time and might pull on to break. You also have the problem of like shrinkage because right here underneath the hook on the inside of the hook itself, you can see their shrinkage, which isn't a great aesthetic, even though it's okay for something like this. But ultimately, this is kind of a bad way of making these because they're just frail. They just snap right off if anybody does it. So how could we improve this so that it could be made stronger? Well, the easiest way is to make a solid part, which can't really be molded and definitely can't be machined for mass production, but Printing is able to address this. So how would you design a command strip wall hook so that you can get something much stronger and something that you have more visual design control of? So the first way to go about it would actually be to do something like this. And this is just a standard hook. It's really similar to the original in many sorts of ways. And you could change it up however you want. Uh, this design is actually printed on its side, which allows it to be the strongest version possible. There is no way anybody bumping this would ever break it off. And since we're able to make it kind of thick and chunky, it's able to be extra strong. And since 3D printing uses infill and doesn't really have just empty holes and uh, an empty void behind the part itself, it's much tougher because it's kind of like an I-beam or a composite part. With this design, you do want to be aware of orientation though, because with all of these hooks, orientation can make a big difference. With this one printed on its side, it's very strong, but the aesthetic component of it is the fact that the top will look different from the bottom, which isn't always the greatest situation. But that would be the baseline type of hook. And if you wanted to design it so that it could also be mounted by screw, you would create this inset screw hole so that the head of the screw goes into it, and you also have a very strong, durable place to hold onto the screw without something like splitting or doing something silly. But that is one version of the hook. The other version that is even closer to the original design is this. This design is printed vertically like this, and this is actually the most affordable way to make something like this. Because since it's printed vertically, it's very easy to auto eject from the machine, so you can make millions of these things, and they would cost exactly the same as the mold and cost of all of these deals. But this design has some disadvantages, and the fact that the layer lines are this direction, this tab is a little bit more frail to where it could potentially break off just the same as the molded one did. Which, you know, the molded one came off pretty darn easy, so it's not that much more, and again, we can make it thicker so that it's not as easy to snap off or to catch somebody or stab somebody. <laughs> And this is a great way of doing it. If you were to actually really optimize this part for having even more functionality and mass producibility, you would actually shave off this back arm because you don't really need that extra material, but it is there in order to allow the command strip to press onto the back. And printing like this isn't really an option because now you have a really weak kind of hanger right there that you don't want. So this way is the best way to make sure that something is strong so you can hang a set of suits on top of it and have it still be a reliable part. But there's one more direction that you can go here. You can print the thing on its side, you can print it vertically so it's standing on end. You can also print it on its back, but printing on its back with something like this you don't wanna do because now you have support inside of here. So you wanna make sure you design for that orientation. The benefit of printing on its back is the fact that the bed surface is actually the one that the command strips would stick onto. So that is the point of this type of design. This design is a triangle with a, a slot cut inside of it. It's kind of cool because it's actually omnidirectional. You can hang it upside down or forward and it's able to hang whatever you want to. You can also change the size and shape of this interior circle so that you can get a better hook. But this is printed just like this, which makes it very strong and very reliable and also quite mass producible. But then the back surface is the bed surface of the printer so that you have a nice consistent surface right there that nobody actually sees so it doesn't change the aesthetic of your part and doesn't create any kind of issues there. Just make sure you round all the corners and again, yeah, you can change that interior and make sure that these are not overhangs that would require some amount of support, which is not that hard to do. These can go quite a bit steeper. But 3D printing has the advantage of making mechanisms and geometries that aren't really possible with any other process. These are not really possible with molding because they're so thick they would cause shrinkage and all kinds of weird deformation. But the other ones, things like this, can be molded or extruded and controlled in a number of different ways. But printing allows you to create something that had never been possible before. Things sort of like this. This is a wall hook that is generally flat and flush inside of its little slot. And then you can flick out the hook itself 
to hang whatever you want on top of it. This isn't really that new. You can kind of see these types of things in cars, but why this is really special is because this hook comes off of the machine just like this. There is no assembly. There is no inserting the hook into the outer casing or anything like that. It's just there. And you can readjust it and change the design however you want to. If we were to actually redo this one, we would probably print it face down so that the front surface of this is actually glass smooth. But that can increase the cost of the part a bit. So printing it on its back where it's just like this and again super strong and the hook is tough and the hinge is fine is actually a good way of doing it. But this sort of combined mechanism, these multiple parts printed in one go cannot be made with any other process. Whereas printing allows you to create this whole new functionality that had never been possible before. So hopefully this video was useful for you and informing you about how to go from like traditionally manufactured stuff that is actually pretty fragile to really robust stuff that looks pretty cool and actually has all types of capabilities that you might not have ever been able to get out of any other way you ever had your stuff manufactured. Have a great day, everybody.